So check this out. First of all, let me say this. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. And make sure you hit that notification button. That way, every time I drop, you'll be one of the first to get it. Check this out, though. Let me get right into it because I said structure in the last video. I didn't really get into that. I look back at the video. I sit down and we speak on structure. So let me go ahead and add this other video and let me get into structure, the importance of structure. Check this out, right? In, 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 in prison settings, uh, people fear. Some people fear in prison the Mexicans because of structure. That's all. You fear them because they have structure, right? Salute to them. Respect, because everybody should have structure. I fuck with a lot of Mexicans. I got Mexicans in my family, but in prison, I fuck with a lot of Mexicans. And I saw how the Southsiders, North Daniels, I know how they get down. They do have structure. And a lot of niggas fear that. People fear structure. So why you don't want that? Why you niggas run from structure? Structure is important. You got to have structure in your household. If you don't have structure in your household, that shit's going to fold. Structure is important. And check this out. Structure is like this. Even like on these streets, people fear structure. Anything you think is more organized than what you are, you think that these niggas is serious because why? They're structured. You're not structured, so you're not feared. You're just a renegade. Pop off for the Pop, get a gun, pop, 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 pop. That's all he is, bro. You ain't got no fucking structure. Organization is key. You got to have organization in your own home. Your own home got to have some type of structure. Or it's going to be, like the homie Baby Moon said, disorder. Don't stand on disorder. Stand on order. Structure. See, a lot of people that's been affiliated with gangs out here on the streets... If you notice, if you pay attention to this, right? See, a lot of stuff is right in front of your eyes. Y'all just ain't paying attention to this shit. It's like the last video I was saying, like, you know, balance. A lot of shit is in front of our eyes, y'all. We just got to open up and see this shit. Trip. Structure. My mouth getting dry, y'all. I'm going to have to get these people to pay me or something, man, because I drink too many of these motherfuckers. But let's get right to the point. <laughs> Yay, yay. Structure. A lot of cats that's been out here gang banging is in bike clubs. Why they in bike clubs? Because bike clubs are structured. You got structure there. People are really attracted to structure, but they don't get that in the hood. The hood don't give them structure. So they join these clubs and shit. They be in these different bike gangs out here in, these, in the city, and but it's coast to coast. They part of the shit because they get more out of being part of that. They get a better brotherhood being part of that than they get from being in the gang. That's structure. Bike gangs is structure. And once again, shout out to all the bike gangs out there because I respect what they're doing because they are coexisting. They're they showing people you can coexist. You can be like, okay, I don't care. You from over there. That's fine. I'm from over here. That's fine. We're not disrespectful. Just, just keep it like that. That's the way it should be, man. It should be like that. Like, okay, you see them niggas over there. Y'all see this over here. All right. That's that's their hood. That's them niggas over. That's what they supposed to be doing. They supposed to be hanging out. They out there doing what they doing. That's their hood. I mean, you got to always come and try to pop on them. Now, let's bag up a little bit. Let me stay on point because I tend to get off key. For everybody out there from New York, Detroit, oh, St. Louis, and them states that watch the video, what Sparks said, please don't take that the wrong way. Sparks want to come back on here and explain what he meant by that, but it's no offense towards people in those states. Shout out to all those states, St. Louis, New York, Detroit, and all the rest of those states. But he was making a specific point about a certain period of time that he's going to explain to you all when we get back on here why he said those particular states back in the early 70s. He'll dig into that. That's coming soon. Should have been the night, but like I said, music was playing at the function. I can't really do no interviews and shit like that because too much music playing, copyright violations, we really couldn't get into it. 
but he's going to explain what he meant by that and no disrespect for those states. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and look at the Farewell Haki video I did and what Spark was talking. Check that out. You know what I'm talking about. Now, back to structure. Structure is key, man. Uh, you got to have it, bro. You got you, you know, any type of organization, your job, all that is structured. Your job is structured. You've been forced to work in these workplaces. You've been forced to adapt structure in these workplaces because you're getting a paycheck. But you don't understand. You should know how to do that. You should know how to do that yourself within your own. We should all have some type of structure in our life. Stop running from that, bro. Stop running from that. That's why people talk bad about these prison gangs, homie. I'm going to keep it real, man. I Look, I could speak on prison gang shit. Just, I can do that. You know I me? Mean? And trust me, bro. It ain't as bad as y'all thought. You know what I mean? But people think that's structure, bro. You got to understand the structure. That's all that was was structure. Now, and the calls. They had the calls and the feuds between the different groups occurred politics but overall it was structure and it wasn't a bad thing at least from what i know about blue notes and stuff like that but that's all structure bro it it, it just it taught you structure you know what i mean that whole lifestyle prison teaches you structure uh, even if you, you don't have to be affiliated with none of these gangs, bro, but you learn from being around these people in these gangs. If you cripple blood and you're in prison, you're going to always be around uh, Blue Notes, CCOs, uh, Bloodlines, and UBNs. You're going to be around them cats. And you're going to learn from them because you fuck with them. You, you don't have to be cut. You don't have to be hooked up. But you fuck with these dudes so you see their ways and you respect that because you're like, yeah. Same with Islam in prison. A lot of cats join Islam because it's structure. A lot of these niggas you know that be going to the pen, they get they be in to become Muslims and shit. Structure, bro. They love structure. They, we want structure. So now there becomes a dividing line between the two. People that like structure and people that don't like structure. Hmm. Y'all don't see where I'm going with this, right? Well, if y'all do, come up with your own analysis. Put it together. You should be able to see something in the same, let me say, preferences I'm saying. Because what I'm saying, preference as what I'm saying, because you catch on with I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm like this, right? I'm, I'm dividing the two, structure and non-structure. And you see the difference. I'm a little faded right now. As y'all know, it's probably like three in the morning. It's been a long day. <clears throat> Off work. Fuck that. That's what you do, right? You work hard. You chill. Sometimes you got to just kick the fuck back and just enjoy yourself. You know what I mean? I got that for you, Marlena, in the mail tomorrow. <laughs> today is Friday night. Well, it's today. It's in the mail today. Actually, it's Saturday. But yeah, that's taken care of. In the mail, I got that. Your stuff is coming. Appreciate your support, Queen. Much love always. But yo, structure, bro. Understand the importance of that. You got to have that, man. You got to have that. See, people is quick to knock something that they don't really know about. A lot of people don't know about structure because they never gave it a never gave it a chance. And me, me go back to prison. For, for, for the people that really never really been behind the walls in prison. They didn't really learn that because they was in the lower levels where people wasn't really unfortunate as far as on the blacks. See, in the lower level prisons, the, a lot of these prisons where you don't have blacks uh, pushing righteous lines and shit like that with structure. You do some places, but most places you don't. When you're in the higher levels, you you, you you encounter that you, you deal with that that's where it's at we pressing lines and the homies is pressing lines and you learn to where when the homies in around pressing line you press the line because you got to learn that's that's what you was around before your time next man up that's where it's supposed to be on the streets too next man up but it ain't next man up niggas waiting for the same man up <laughs> Y'all catch that? Niggas is waiting for the same man up instead of the next man up. Like, come on, bro. It's your turn. What the fuck?
because y'all waiting on me. I did it your turn. You, you. Y'all get it? Structure is important, bro. Always have structure in your life, man. Have a structured life. And I want to say this, man, before I wrap this up, bro. This, these drugs in the hood, this crystal meth, this meth these niggas fucking with out here, man. That's that's a dangerous act that's going on in every hood, every community out here. Niggas fucking with this crystal meth and shit, bro. These drugs and shit. Niggas think it's cool. It ain't cool, homie. That shit ain't cool at all. Just, 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 just stop everything for a minute, my nigga. That's what I'm saying. Niggas fucking with this meth and shit out here, bro. That shit is dangerous. That make us all a motherfucking liability, bro. Check this. Check this scenario. Nigga can pull up. Y'all can all be hanging out, right? You in the, you in the hood and shit. You and the homies posted, right? And your homie pull up in his car, or whatever. Y'all say, us the homie, such and such. And he like, you know, he bumping his music he in his car, bobbing his head, might be smoking a cig or something. This nigga off the meth. And and his he he's not there. Niggas gone. But in his fucked up mind, he think it's cool to like pull out the strap and just play with the homies like this. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, ha ha ha. Right? He think it's cool just to be playing, just pointing the gun at the homie, right? And he's so high, bro. He not knowing what he doing. He pulled the trigger and he just get off on his own homies. And now he wake up and realize what he just did. Why? Talk, 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 right? And at the same time, why he went, oh, fuck, my bad. But you didn't kill some niggas, your own people. Man, we got to stop allowing this in the hood. Nigga, I think everybody need to check niggas in the hood that's fucking with this dope, bro. Niggas need to get niggas in program. We need to figure out some kind of way to help these niggas. If we love these niggas, help these niggas, bro. We can beat on them all day. That ain't going to make them stop. That's gonna, they're going to continue to smoke. You can beat a nigga ass, stomp him out right now in the day. He's going to get recovery, go down the road the next day and be back on that shit. It ain't going to change. But if we love them, what we going to do about it? How can we help them, right? Let's help them, because every hood got niggas out here fucking with that motherfucking meth, bro. And that shit ain't fly, my nigga. Ain't nothing cool with that about that shit. Niggas fucking with drugs, nigga. That shit is, nigga, you need to, st look, bro. Look, each his own, my nigga. That ain't cool. We don't, why? you should be able to smoke you some weed, drink you some brews, drink you some liquor, and that's all you need. All this other shit, niggas thinking it's cool, fucking with meth and molly and shit. A lot of you younger niggas, it's a trip, because younger niggas need pills to get their dick hard nigga you a young nigga you need a pill nigga what the fuck is wrong with you you need a pill to get your dick hard you young what the fuck is your problem i don't need that shit you niggas younger than me y'all need pills to get your dick hard nigga i can't get hard unless that nigga that's a problem bro i see, i remember a little homie told me that when i was in the pen he was like i'm in the pen where i'm listening to the homie story he was like cuz i was fucking this bro i called I, and i couldn't even get my shit up i had to have an e-pill and I'm like, damn, nigga, how old is you, bro? I think it was like 21, 22. I'm like, damn, I'm like, damn. You know, I'm in the joint. I'm like, at this time, I still had about eight more years to do when they told me this shit. I'm like, damn, this nigga's the only thing. Niggas is fucked up. Niggas is fucked up. And I say niggas, I don't just mean black people once again. Niggas, because you got Tongan niggas, Mexican niggas, Asian niggas, all these other races. And I say niggas, period. Niggas, niggas, niggas is fucked up. Because a lot of these niggas is on this shit. Niggas need to get off that shit, bro. Niggas need to get off that shit, my nigga. Ain't nothing fly about that, homie. Ain't nothing cool about that. Nigga need to just leave that shit alone. Nigga, you need help. Tell your homies to help you. Tell us to help you, nigga. The fuck? Nigga, tell us to help you, nigga. Get help, nigga. Get at your people. Get at us, nigga. Get help. If you really want help, get at us, nigga. We gonna get you help. We got homies in position to help you. And other hoods should have homies in position to help their homies. Right? Because you niggas want to get on YouTube and be dissing niggas. Nigga, think about that. Think about that and think about that life insurance because you need that. Otherwise, you'll be going through similar situations. You know what I mean? You just seen me had a GoFundMe page up. We don't need to keep doing that, y'all. Let's make some changes, man. Let's make some changes for the better. Stop just dissing niggas. Stop hating niggas. Because when you hate niggas just for no motherfucking reason, you're wasting all that energy. That energy is what you can be using to research, to apply yourself, to use thinking you be in your thought process to where you be able to come up with different ideas and different reasons and understand different things why this is that. Because you ain't thinking. That energy use that you could be using to be thinking, you're using to be hating. You need to change that shit. Peace out.